Hello Exiles, this is Ryan from Behind Eyes Gaming and welcome to my day 2 update for uh, the Delirium Everywhere. This is on my Inquisitor that's using a Battle Mage with Moroi Erki, uh, Heat Shiver and its full cold conversion with Rim Sorrow. Um, I'm currently making my way through white maps. I'm doing uh, T5 maps at the moment so it's a little bit slow going but I actually don't know what the delirium level of crater will be because I haven't done it yet. Uh, the highest delirium map I've completed is uh, Thicket which is only a tier 2 map but it's 98% delirious so uh, it feels a lot harder than that. Um, Mostly this build's been doing really well on anything less than 75%. So this is 60%. So we'll get to see uh, here what kind of uh, stuff it puts out. But yeah. Little tough right from the get-go. Got a lot of stuff going on. I'm not really sure why I'm picking up singular uh, simulacrum splintrum, splinters. I probably should uh, improve my loot filter a little bit at this point but yeah I just wanted to show a map uh, show that well you know it's not like absolutely crushing everything it is able to get through pretty much uh, pretty much everything so I got a self cast assassins mark currently uh, because well the only other curse I can think to put on this build, because we don't need uh, to lower elemental resistance, so yeah, this one's a gargantuan, so he's going to take a bit. There you go. Um, I do. I am using chain. I would normally, on harder things, on a higher delirium map, just switch over to hypothermia, back off real quick, switch to, from chain to hypothermia, uh, and then get that going. I have a little bit, I am on a 5 link. So I have a little bit different of a, a link setup at the moment, uh, which I'll go over after this. Um, I have a couple of clear goals, but the build is starting to come together. I'm almost to the point where uh, I'm going to reach the actual intended uh, purpose of this build, I guess you could say. Okay, get a sentinel. It's usually best to wait until the full volley is up, but for clearing, I don't bother doing that. Like you can see the unleash stacks building up down here. Sometimes when I'm actually just fighting packs, I'll uh, just fire them off because usually one or two is enough to clear the pack. Uh, and if I see myself getting up to the boss room, I'll I actually probably should full clear this map, but I guess I can do the rest of it after I'm done recording the video. I'll just clear up into the boss and do the boss, show how that was. Uh, I was able to freeze, or I am able to freeze bosses, uh, the 98% delirious uh, monkey boss, uh, for a pretty substantial amount of time, actually, when I have my hypothermia up, because that gives a large amount of damage, because it's not only uh, dropping the uh, less damage from chain, but also giving a more damage multiplier. So kind of a double whammy on extra damage there. But yeah, we're slowly but surely. This is obviously uh, <laughs> isn't the fastest clearing build to begin with, but on Delirium, it's, uh, you know, I don't think anything's a particularly, until you get to a certain point. I do think I'll get to the point where... Uh, Oop, should probably pay attention. Was leveling up my gems. I'll probably get to the point where uh, it's a pretty fast clearing build, but I need to get my Righteous Fire, Low Life set up. There's a lot of stuff still uh, left to be done. And of course, my Six Link is going to go a long way. And also, my Last Ascendancy will help as well. Uh, and my Last Ascendancy is probably going to be essential for. Uh, setting up my righteous fire because it's going to be the uh... oh yeah I'm not using my flasks I don't I'm so used to having automated flask setups that whenever I don't at the beginning of a new league I just forget to use them like 90% of the time which uh, obviously they're very helpful 
Okay, so we're getting up to the boss room. I'll go ahead and swap over to hypothermia. Um, I would also like to get, if possible, I would also like to kind of got chilled there. I'm going to get, uh, I have a little bit of less uh, chill and shock duration. Yeah, see, we're definitely freezing the boss. So we got that down. With hypothermia on, we can take care of most bosses that way. All right, and then I'll just pop out real quick. I'm going to get all the jewelry. Uh, the other stuff isn't that important. Uh, especially considering I haven't been able to sell anything. I think this is a pretty unpopular event, uh, but that's okay. I don't mind either way. All right, uh, let's get this set up. I'm gonna start popping up and grabbing uh, these nodes here. Uh, pretty much the same league start setup because there are uh, some things I might want from Betrayal, although I don't think it'll be as necessary as uh, other times. And I think now is when I start going towards uh, I do have Iron Will, by the way. Uh, people were suggesting I take that. I was planning on taking it. I was actually using the uh, Iron Will setup earlier, but uh, as far as the gem itself. But yeah, now I'm actually using Iron Will, and this is like a third of my damage, the Iron Will, because I'm not really taking any other damage outside of uh, this here, and then these two, and this, and this. But those are literally the only damage nodes that I have so it's not and the two little ones as well uh, so I have a lot less damage nodes than you would traditionally have so as a result the extra like 80% damage I get from this is quite a lot uh, but I'm gonna start grabbing like prismatic skin and uh, and anointed flesh through the reduced effect of chill and freeze duration I also have this jewel that I found uh, which is life lightning resist which i think i need to be capped yes and then reduced effective chill and shock on you so that'll stack well with these i'll have massively reduced uh, chill and shock effect and then less freeze duration on me which might be the best i can do as far as ailment immunity uh we'll see but uh yeah anyway uh getting to the gearing i uh, still have the same you know moroyerky rim sorrow and uh heat shiver uh, but everything else is new. We've got a five link. Uh, this is, I just bought it. It was, I think, seven chaos for this. Uh, and I put exsanguinate, unleash, uh, cruelty. I'm actually using cruelty now. Um, added cold wasn't that effective, um, which is, I also am not using Herald of Ice. I'm actually using, where are you? Uh, Herald of Purity now because all of the extra damage I'm getting from Moroi Erki makes uh, added cold kind of weak in this build and uh, it makes Herald of Ice kind of weak and the thing about Herald of Ice one of the main reasons I would use it is to help with the clear because of the explosions but in the delirious maps uh, the explosions just don't do enough damage honestly uh, to really help with clear that much they help a little bit but not nearly as much as they would in non-delirium maps uh, maybe if i had like a level 21 herald device that would be one thing but uh with at this stage the more damage from herald of purity with all the physical damage scaling i have uh, is way way better so um but i got this awesome belt this belt is super good like uh pretty much as good as I could possibly hope for, you know, early game type thing. Uh, very lucky find there. Um, I have the a ring, a ring which has it's an amethyst ring, so it's got chaos resist. I had two other uh, resists. I needed dex, uh, so I had dex. Although I'm not sure I need dex right now, uh, but it might be nice to have because it's possible I go over to mage bane because I do have some s spell suppression on my gear, twenty one percent. Um, currently this would give me something along the lines of like 11 or 12 percent uh, spell suppress and then I could grab you know like a couple of these nodes for another 14. I don't know if I'll be able to cap spell suppress but if I have extra points I'll probably go over here and at least give it a shot or try uh, type thing so that is one thing that I might do um, and then 
other ring, uh, just life and resist. This one has quite a lot of resist. It's got all elemental resist, the cold and lightning implicit, uh, fire and lightning. Um, I have these boots, which have suppress, a good life roll, chaos uh, resist, pretty low movement speed, but what you can do, and it's on two-toned boots, and I can't really uh, craft the, uh, I can't really craft the Eldritch Implicit boots at the moment so these are really nice i don't have the currency for it um this amulet just gives me a bunch of int really is what it's for uh which translates to a lot of crit so currently my crit chance uh, without assassin's mark is uh 59.92 so basically 60 percent if i take this off it goes down to 52.48 so i'm getting a good amount of crit from that plus it's gonna make it easier to not have to take like uh, extra attribute nodes to fix my decks uh, because of the all attributes and later on I'll probably and it's also got uh, armor which is I need because my armor isn't very high because I can't wear a shield and uh, my two main pieces of gear as far as helmets and uh, gloves are both evasion so all of my armor i'm getting from my body armor which at the moment isn't that high because it's a low tier hybrid that i just needed for a five link and then i'm getting some armor in fact <laughs> uh, my boots are closer to my chest than i'm probably super comfortable with as far as uh, the amount of armor they're providing me so not getting a ton there um that's pretty much the gear setup I think uh, it's an okay amount. I'm I just hit level 79 during that map. Um, the skill tree. Uh, so currently, I only had at the time last time I didn't have my second ascendancy yet. Instruments of virtue. I went to righteous uh, providence and inevitable judgment. Um, and my last one is going to be sanctuary, uh, which means I'm not going to be able to take pious path. So I'm only going to get uh, six percent life regen and it's only going to be when i'm not moving so basically i'm going to have to like stop to regen sometimes uh like just throw on my molten shell and hope for the best uh i might later i really want to keep battle mage because uh the amount of damage that i get from this so uh let's put hypothermia on instead of chain just to show like the full amount i guess although i'm not getting the more damage from hypothermia but i'm i don't have the less damage from chain this way uh so twenty three thousand to thirty five thousand just about uh cold damage if i take this off um i'm losing what determination so that shouldn't matter uh it goes down to seven thousand eight hundred to eleven thousand seven hundred so yeah, I'm literally tripling, over tripling my damage just by having this Moroi Erky. Um, even if I had like something comparable, like a decent damage, uh, physical damage one-hander, uh, it wouldn't be anywhere near the amount of damage I'm getting from the Moroi Erky. So I'm probably just going to keep Battle Mage, and I'm just going to have to... The My other option is uh, Augury of Penitence, and I don't know. I I think Sanctuary is just going to be more helpful. It's It also applies a more damage taken buff similar to the uh, Augury. In fact, you know, it's almost the exact same amount, but just being able to stop and regen is useful, I think. So... Uh, that's my plan. I'm going to get Uberlab very soon. Uh, Uberlab should be much easier than the maps I'm running just because of the lack of delirium for the most part. Uh, but yeah, I got up to Fingers of Frost with the freeze duration, so that's pretty much all of the freeze duration. The only plan I have potentially um, is to, instead of having the Assassin's Mark that I'm self-casting, which is f fine, I don't mind doing that. Uh, but what I might do is I might try to get a Hrim Sorrow uh, with the Corruption um, Temp Chains on hit, uh, or just flat Spell Crit would also be good. So I might try to corrupt some Hrim Sorrows, buy some, uh, maybe take them to the temple to double corrupt. Maybe if I get really lucky, I get both. Probably not though. Uh, but uh, temp chains is basically a 40% more multiplier on freeze duration, uh, if you didn't know that. So uh, that's one option I could have, and that way I could have a temp chains on hit and wouldn't have to uh, self-cast Assassin's Mark, and that would help me a lot with my freezes. So 
that is one option I have. Um, the other things I did on the skill tree is I just got more regen, which I said I would do. Um, I didn't say I was going to take Iron Will last time, and uh, people brought that up, but I did end up taking it. Um, but everything else is, you know, pretty much the same. I just got, like, Barbarism. I got uh, Constitution, a lot of life, a lot of regen, like Warrior's Blood and Heart of the Warrior. Um, and then I went up and got Arcane Potency. Uh, at some point, I'd like to go up and get Throat Seeker. Uh, that'll give me an extra 20% crit chance going through here, which is, you know, whatever, only uh, one and a half actual crit on my thing, so that's not going to be too big. But then it's a nice little wheel of crit multi here. So, um, and I would also potentially like to get uh, Relentless and Shaper. I I don't know. There's probably there's got to be this tree looks really weird. I, there's got to be a better way to path it. Like maybe I can go down through here and cut something. But I looked at it and I'm like, no, I have to be over here. I have to be over here. Like there's a lot of places I have to be. And I feel like I don't feel like there's a better way I can do it. But if you think there is, uh, let me know in the description if you think you have a better uh, idea of how to path like going through here too seems less efficient even though I could get like the tire tireless wheel which would be cool um, and I would also have access I guess then I wouldn't be going this way so yeah I don't even think I save points because this is only three points to get up here where this is uh, five points to get over here so I think I lose points that way as well so I th think sadly this is the most efficient uh, but yeah next I get prismatic skin uh anointed flesh and after that i would like to find a way to get power charges uh because i could for a few points get up to either of those and those would help me a lot too but once again i think i'm just kind of point starved um especially if i want to take a cluster which is looking uh increasingly unlikely but yeah we'll have to see um, I'm, I have a lot of two-point jewel slots I could get, though, uh, including this one, which would put me closer to the power charge. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, my next things I'm going to try to do is I'm just going to try to uh, get Righteous Fire going. Uh, then I'm going to try to get a bunch of much higher life stuff and then more life uh, nodes on the wheel and uh, or on the uh, tree. And including life on jewels if possible with other beneficial things and then I will try to go uh, paint attunement so I'll get uh, what you call it the uh, I can never remember the name but it's one of these auras I'm really bad at remembering these things not flesh and stone not defiance banner uh, I don't think it counts as an aura at all, but oh, okay. Oh, petrified blood. There it is. Uh, I'd like to get petrified blood. Pet petrified blood is really nice with regen as well, uh, because it offsets the uh, losing the damage over time unless you're taking really really huge hits. So, uh, petrified blood. Uh, reserve some uh, stuff, probably my Herald on life, and then uh, go Pain Attunement, because that should be pretty close, Herald of Purity. I might have to take, just not to go too low, the Increased Life Reservation Mastery as well. Um, and then if I do that, I might also have to, to get under 50%, uh, reserve a flat reservation, like uh, Vitality or something which means I can get rid of the uh, mono reservation efficiency for vitality because it's not life reservation efficiency. But yeah, that's pretty much everything for now. Um, yeah, I'm just cruising along. It hasn't been, I mean, it's a hard league, obviously, but I knew it would be. Um, but I think this build is pretty incredible. I would love to see it perform in a league that isn't all delirium. Um, and I might try to play it in the future, who knows? But yeah, this has been Ryan from Behind Eyes Gaming, and I'll see you next time. Bye.